Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Join my free crypto community if you haven't already. Now let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Over the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has been consolidating in this descending channel. And actually yesterday we saw a confirmed daily candle close below the channel, which now also confirms a breakdown below this level of previous support now flipped into resistance. But to get a better idea of if we can expect this downtrend to continue, let's take a look at some indicators and also a couple charts that I have ready for you guys. First of all, let's take a look at the bull market support band, which is this indicator, this, this moving average that you see below the price. And opening this up, it's the 20 week SMA and the 21 week EMA, which are simply some moving averages. And during a bull run, typically the price needs to get a touch with the bull market support band every couple months or so in order to confirm that the bull run is just continuing like normal. So here we got pretty close to it, but I would also consider this pretty much a test of the bull market support band. And now once again, we have gotten very close to actually touching that bull market support band, getting that first test of the bull market support band. It is definitely possible that we still go back to the bull market support band to properly test it before potentially blasting off to the upside. But most important for you right now is to see the reaction of the bull market support band as soon as the price gets to that level. In the case that you see a breakdown below the bull market support band, like you saw right here in 2021, well, actually that marked a significant move to the downside of about 55%. And the same can be said for 2019, because here, when we went below the bull market support band in the middle of the bull run, we also got about a 55% correction. And the reason I'm not counting this full move here is because this is March of 2020. So this was the COVID crash that you saw right here. So that's why I'm just looking at this for now, but this was already a 50% correction in the price of Bitcoin. So it is very important to actually hold the bull market support band in the short term here. Either way, as long as we hold above the bull market support band, I won't get too bearish, but in the case that we lose it, I think 50K is very likely to be reached. But before getting ahead of myself here, let's just take a look at some short term support and resistance levels that you need to keep an eye on for Bitcoin right now. So recently, Bitcoin saw this rising wedge pattern, which I did warn about, is more likely to break to the downside, which it then did, hitting both of the price targets. So this pattern is basically no longer active, and from next video tomorrow, I won't be showing it anymore. However, after we lost the support at 60K, we fell back down right into the next level of support, which is sitting from about 58K all the way down to 56.5K. And that's where we are now seeing a bit of a bounce and potentially a reversal to the upside. However, before I can really start calling for that, what I would really like to see is the RSI on the daily time frame actually break above this downward sloping trend line that you see right here. So currently we are here in the RSI momentum indicator. And whenever the RSI is below 50, it means that the price is actually in a downtrend. If we want to see the price reverse to the upside, I would at the very least like to see a breakout above this trend line, because so long as that isn't happening, I think we are still just in a downtrend. But yeah, that's about it for the bearish scenarios, because in the case that we do just get a move to the upside, well, the next level of resistance above us is from about 60K up to 62.4K. And in the case that the price does break above that level, then the next big level of resistance is right here from about 65K up to 66,000 US dollars. So now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame, And don't worry if you're not familiar with this chart, the way to read it is simply that the Bitcoin price typically gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas. And in this case, on the three day time frame at about 56.7K, all the way down to 56.2K. So likely the price in the short term could be attracted to this level. So because there's a lot of liquidity to the upside and to the downside, let's zoom out a little bit to the one month time frame where we get a much clearer picture here. So you can see that on the one month time frame, in fact, most of the liquidity is to the upside with about a billion dollars worth of short liquidations that will happen at 67.4K. But again, even more liquidity sitting all the way up at 71.5K. So these are some major levels of liquidity. But in my opinion, since we are in a bull market, I do think that at some point, regardless of if we first go lower, 
But I do think that eventually we will take out those levels of liquidity. So now moving on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows. Yesterday, we had a massive, massive outflow of over half a billion dollars worth of ETFs selling Bitcoin on Wednesday. With, in this case, the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF selling about $170 million worth of Bitcoin. But actually, in crazy news, the Fidelity Bitcoin ETF sold close to $200 million worth of Bitcoin on Wednesday. Now, one thing I really want to note about this situation here is that this isn't the smart money, in my opinion. Because what we saw is actually the biggest inflow day. So if you look at maximum here, you can see that the biggest inflow day of over a billion dollars actually came at the exact, at the precise Bitcoin top. When we were back here, all the way at 73K, roughly speaking, this price right here is actually where we saw that billion dollars worth of inflows. So all those investors into the ETF, they bought the exact local top for Bitcoin. And I've just been seeing nothing but downside over the last couple of weeks. And now we are seeing the biggest outflow that the ETFs have ever seen in a single day, as you can see right here in this minimum row. So potentially this could signify that we are getting close to a bottom because they bought the exact top. Now, potentially they might be selling the exact bottom. If we do continue to see massive hundred million dollar outflows every single weekday, Obviously, that is going to have a downwards pressuring effect on the Bitcoin price. So that is a significant trend that we will just keep tracking every single day. And if you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that recently we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level here. Then we traded to the downside and lost support right here at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And eventually after losing that, we traded all the way to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where right now in the short term, it looks like we have held support after wicking below the 0.5 level. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for ETH to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. So zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that we got a perfect bounce from my level of support that I drew out right here. And this level of support that I have been talking about for quite a while now is from 2850 up to 3000 US dollars for the price of Ethereum. But in the case that we don't hold this level, well, the next level of support below it is from about 2720 all the way down to 2600. However, I think it is unlikely that we will reach those levels before I post my next video. However, since the markets have been so crazy, I thought I might as well just share it. Though in the case that we do get a bounce to the upside, we might get a little bit of resistance right here at about $3,100. However, this is some short-term resistance. The next big level of resistance for Ethereum is actually right here at 3150 up to 3250 and then above that you have the 0.618 fibonacci level at about 3330. now if you bought ethereum anywhere near the top at about 4k i'm sure the last couple of weeks have not been easy for you so as a little bit of a lighter subject i think i spotted this new chart pattern called the elephant trunk drop <laughs> where yeah i mean it, it, i had to say as soon as i saw it i recognized it immediately and this is just a classic elephant trunk drop. And whenever you see this, usually you don't want to open your portfolio for a couple of days. <laughs> but yeah, so in more serious news, zooming out a little bit, if we take a look at this downtrend for Ethereum, I think it could signify that as soon as we break it to the upside, it will be a clear reversal of the trend. So currently you can see we're just following along with this downward sloping trend line. And as soon as we see the price trade a little bit higher and break above this downward sloping trend line, I think it could be a great entry for a potential long position because this has been a downward sloping trend line for a couple of weeks. So at that point, I think it would be a clear sign that the trend is reversing back to the upside, though this is, of course, not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame, you can see that right here, we also got rejected just like Ethereum from the 0.786 Fibonacci level and then lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. However, in the short term, it seems to be that Solana is kind of bottoming out here around this 0.5 Fibonacci level, as even though we did wick below it a couple of times, so far on the weekly time frame, there has not been a confirmed candle close below. So therefore, this is still a level of support 
as of right now. Though in the case that we do see a candle close below this 133 level in a couple of days from now, well, in that case, the next level of support below it is the 0.382 Fibonacci level. However, in between this Fibonacci level and the Fibonacci level below it, there are of course some smaller support levels in between. So let's take a look at those now to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. And today there's actually some very good news for Solana because recently we were trading below this downward sloping trend line, which typically has acted as a level of resistance whenever we were trading below it and acting as a level of support whenever we are trading above it. So in the short term right here, we have actually traded back above the trend line. So this is very good to see. And we turned this previous level of resistance back into support. So the level of support is actually from 125 all the way up to 134 for the price of Solana. And in the case that we break back below it and also lose the trend line, well, that's actually the next level of support below from 115 all the way down to $100 for Solana with the Fibonacci level sitting at about $104, like I talked about earlier. Though in the case that we do just continue this push to the upside, the next resistance level for Solana is from $140 all the way up to $150. And in the case that we do break above this level, well, the next level of resistance is some short-term resistance at about $160. And then above that, the next big level of resistance is from 166 up to 171. So this has been today's market update. If you are interested in a longer term analysis for Bitcoin, as well as the overall crypto market, as well as some on-chain analysis where I dive really deep into what is actually happening on the blockchain in order to make some kind of price predictions for the longer term and higher timeframes. If that's something you're interested in, I recommend you go check out my Patreon. You can find it with the second link in the description of the video that you're watching right now. And once you get to this page, you have two options. First of all, you can join for free, in which case you get access to my free trading course. And currently there's one video in there, but I will be posting more videos over time. However, if you want to get access to this longer term, higher time frame analysis of the overall crypto market, as well as Bitcoin, well, in that case, you need to subscribe to my channel for only $5 a month, because that video is exclusively for the Patreon members. So like I said, if you're interested in seeing more content from me and also a deeper analysis, then go check this out. Either way, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.